हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस सॉल्ट्स फॉर क्लास टेंथ वी हैव फर्स्ट इज कास्टिक सोडा इट्स एन ए ओ एच सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सो इट सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इट साइंटिफिक नेम इज सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इट हैज अनदर नेम इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज अ लाई एल वाई ई नेक्स्ट इज इट हैज कोरोजिव इफेक्ट ऑन लिविंग टिश्यूज it has a corrosive effect on a living tissue either human tissue or a plant tissue next thing is how to prepare caustic soda so next we have its preparation caustic soda is prepared by a process alkali process it is prepared by a process called chlor alkali process what happen in this process we take we take aqueous solution of a sodium chloride sodium chloride is a common salt and uh, aqueous solution of sodium chloride is called uh, brine aqueous solution of sodium chloride is called uh, brine and on electrolysis on uh, electrolysis electrolysis takes place in a special chamber electrolytic cell as a result uh, sodium hydroxide is formed and uh, two gases are evolved that is h2 and cl2 so in chlor alkali process we obtain sodium hydroxide hydrogen gas and chlorine gas these gases are the electrolytic product of hcl in electrolytic we electrolytic cell we have two rods anode and a cathode in electrolytic cell we have two rods cathode anode and a cathode hydrogen gas is liberated at a cathode and chlorine gas is liberated at a anode this chlorine can be further used to form a bleaching powder so this process is called chlor alkali process why this name is given because we obtain chlorine why alkali because we obtain sodium hydroxide it is a strong base or it is a alkali solution next its properties it is white solid crystalline powder it is a white solid crystalline powder second point of a 591 kelvin it has a melting point of a 591 kelvin third it is stable compound fourth it is highly soluble in water and partially soluble in 
alcohol it is highly soluble in uh, water and uh, partially soluble in uh, alcohol next is uh, it is actually ionic compound it is an uh, ionic compound so aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide will be have as a conductor six last property is it is strong base and has a soapy nature it is a strong base and has a soapy nature means slippery in a touch these are the properties of a caustic soda next uses of a caustic soda it is used to prepare soap detergents soap and uh, detergents second it is used in paper industry it is used in a uh, paper industry third <coughs> it act as a it acts as a degreasing agent from metals it removes grease from metals fourth it act as a laboratory agent it acts as a laboratory reagent and fifth is it is used to prepare artificial textiles it is used to prepare artificial textiles so this is the first salt caustic soda with preparation with properties and with the uses second we have washing soda second we have a washing soda it's uh, sodium carbonate with uh, 10 water molecules sodium carbonate with uh, 10 uh, water molecules its scientific name let's uh, understand 10 means deca water hydrated deca hydrated sodium carbonate deca hydrated sodium carbonate its scientific name is deca hydrated sodium carbonate so how to prepare washing washing soda it's a preparation it is prepared by a process called solvay process it is prepared by a process called a solvay process and it is process complete in a three steps for this we have three step in step one what happens bubbles of ammonia gas co2 gas are passed through aqua solution of a sodium chloride bubbles of ammonia gas and carbon dioxide gas are passed through aqua solution of a sodium chloride as a result ammonium hydroxide sorry ammonium chloride and sodium bicarbonate is formed the first product is ammonium chloride and second product is sodium hydrogen carbonate 
or sodium bicarbonate it is also known as a baking soda it is also known as a baking soda so the first product of a solve process is a baking soda on heating baking soda we obtain second baking soda is heated nhco3 to give sodium carbonate plus water plus co2 this co2 can be used again this water can be used again in a step one so this is a spontaneous continuous process we can balance it two molecules of baking soda are heated as a result unhydrated sodium carbonate is formed in step three it is crystallized with water this is called crystallization as a result it observes 10 water molecules on its surface so the last product of solve process is a washing soda first step we get baking soda and in step number three we get a washing soda so we can say solve process is used to prepare two products baking soda as well as a washing soda this is the preparation process is called a solve process it may be asked in exam in three marks what is solve process next is its properties first again it is basic it is basic carbonate second it is white crystalline solid it is a white crystalline solid again it is ionic so ionic compounds have high melting point high boiling point that is very easy high melting point and high boiling point again basic so it have the property that is a slippery slippery in a touch these are the properties of a washing soda now uses as washing soda name indicates it is used for a washing purpose use it is used for washing purpose second it act as a mild antiseptic third sodium carbonate uses we are understanding the using third is it act as a softening agent it acts as a softening agent what is softening agent softening agent is used for conversion of hardness of water to soft water means it form it convert hard water to soft water hard water contains impurities of ions but soft water does not contain impurities and so washing soda is used for permanent removal of hardness from water fourth it acts as a it is used in preparation of a various other products it is used in preparation of a various other products so these are the two salts caustic soda and a washing soda in next lecture we will do baking soda pop and a gypsum keep exploring my channel stay at home thank you